Apple is bringing all the displays with LG, metal support in testing for Blender and Apple Cupertino team return delayed further. This episode is brought to you by DataCamp. DataCamp gamifies its 350 data science, analytics and machine learning courses to keep you engaged. Hitting your next goal keeps you focused on the task at hand and gets you to your qualifications sooner. Ever wondered how the Apple Watch can tell what exercise you're doing? You'll learn how the motion captured by the accelerometers and the sensor data is classified, cleaned and identified as different motions, even down to what swimming stroke you're using. Once you've followed the courses, you can apply what you've learned in the practice sessions or full-on projects to really test what you know. Data is vital to the Internet of Things, so unlock new career opportunities and become data fluent today. Use my link in the description box below and check out the first chapter of any DataCamp course for free. Thank you to DataCamp for supporting iCave Dave. LG Display is reportedly working on three separate standalone displays that are most likely destined to have an Apple logo, though based on the current form, probably only on the back. What makes us think these are for Apple? Well, there are a 24 and a 27 inch panel, the same size as the current and next expected IMAX, plus a 32 inch, which is in line with the current Pro Display XDR. Not only these sizes, but they're also all mini LED XDR panels capable of 120 Hertz variable refresh rates. Sounds pretty Apple to me. But a 32 inch panel? That one apparently has a custom Apple silicon inside, Presumably the A13 we've been hearing about, although big display with processor in it sounds a lot like an iMac to me. And so it seems just as with the MacBook Pro's users demanding the Pro ports back, it seems that Apple has heard the demand for standalone displays too. Pretty awesome. And the idea of having three different ones is uh, even more awesome, actually. I think the 24 inch, the 27 inch are probably there specifically to match with iMacs that are going to be available. So hopefully they get the heights right this time as well. So that there's not like that step down that we had with the Thunderbolt displays. Next up, as we recently reported, Apple has become a supporter of the Blender project, bringing capital and expertise. And that is already coming to fruition. Apple's metal GPU rendering has been added to the Blender Cycles engine, allowing the GPU to do all the heavy lifting. Early results are very promising, especially in tasks needing more video memory. As with the M1 Max, you can have up to 64 gigabytes of unified memory shared between the CPU and GPU. Render boy Apple tomorrow is very excited. And the last story before we get to your iCave answers, Tim Cook has emailed the team in Cupertino to say that the 1st of February return to office day has been pushed back indefinitely given the current situation with the pandemic. Each employee has also been given $1,000 to spend on home office equipment too, suggesting that Apple senior management aren't that confident that their teams will be back on site anytime soon. Will this lead to more delays in products and software features? That remains to be seen. But next up, we have iCave Answers, where I answer all of your questions from the comments section. So feel free to leave them below with the hashtag iCave Answers and make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss your answers. First up, James Apple asks, did your Eero routers go out of commission when AWS servers went down the other week? That's a really interesting question, actually, because I have had some problems with my routers recently and I just assumed that it was just a randomized kind of local ISP issue. But it could well have been that, actually. It was last week that I was having most of the issues. Didn't know that AWS had gone down, um, but very interesting to know. I will keep my eyes out for when AWS goes down again and see if the same thing happens. And next up, Alan B Unboxings and News asks a couple of questions. I gave answers. When do you think the new M2, M2 Pro and M2 Max iPad Pros will come out? And when do you think Apple will announce the M2, M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBook Airs? And we'll take them one at a time. Uh, I don't think we're going to be getting M2 Pro or M2 Max in a iPad Pro. Uh, the iPads are all about having that efficiency and the M2 is already like super powerful to go into an iPad. Um, so I don't think we're going to be getting those bigger chips. They would really hurt the battery life. They probably would be a bit too hot uh, because bear in mind that the M1 Pro and Max both have like decent quality uh, fan systems to keep them cool. The iPad is not going to have that. So I wouldn't expect to see them in the iPads um, at all, to be completely honest. Certainly not for the next 
three or four years. In terms of the MacBook Air, the MacBook Airs are only going to get the M2, uh, but I think the announcement is going to be in the spring. I think it is going to be part of the March event. I do think March rather than April this time as well. I think the April event was a bit pushed back from where Apple would have wanted it to be. I think March is really what they want because then they actually still get to hit that first quarter numbers uh, and that makes a lot of sense. And that event, the uh, the March event next year, we're expecting the MacBook Airs with M2. We're expecting iMacs with M1 Pro and M1 Max. We're also expecting to potentially see the Mac Mini with the more powerful chips as well. And today's show is a little bit shorter uh, because I've got a crazy day today um, and I haven't had that much time to get the show prepared, get it recorded and get it out. Um, but you can use the code SUPER10 for 10% off anything in our merch store today. That is at icavedave.com forward slash merch. So you can get uh, mugs, you can get water bottles, you can get hoodies, t-shirts, the works. It's all right there with our classic designs. I haven't been able to get the uh, t-shirt design finished for the 10K, so that's going to be tomorrow. Sorry, the uh, the 10% may or may not work then, but give it a go just on the off chance. Sometimes they extend these things. Thank you so much to all the Patreons over here. If you want to join the Patreons, all it is is patreon.com forward slash iCaveDave, and you get access to ad-free versions of this show every single weekday. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.